Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Quick update of the microstructure. Solana has um, yeah, overnight basically formed another low that was also um, yeah, communicated as per the previous microstructure. Made you aware in yesterday's video that we were watching for a fifth wave to the downside here, deeper into this support area, possibly ideally to $150. I mean, it did reach $152.70. It is another low. It might form one more low and get 250 or 147.80. We're now in an area where I'm just watching for a potential reversal to the upside. Um, no signal that it has started yet. Okay, absolutely not. And it, um, as I said in, in the Bitcoin video, in the Ethereum videos, the mindset has to be we are now in a correction. And until we see a signal that we get a break above resistance, this series of lower lows and lower highs can continue. However, um, we have now the minimum number of waves in place to consider this correction complete. That was not the case yesterday. It now is. Now, if we have the minimum number of waves on the chart, actually, to consider a correction complete, that doesn't mean the correction is complete. It simply means we need to be on high alert for reversal. That's the same if we arrive at an upside target as we did here. The price arrived in five waves at $184, which was our key resistance level here. And the price started to turn down. Now we have arrived in a three wave move, which is a corrective pullback. And the C wave of that is a five wave move. So we have, again, all the waves in place and we are in a key Fibonacci support zone. And very, very close to that 100% ex um, yeah, extension. Here now, we just need to be on high alert for a potential reversal. Now, again, you cannot confirm it until there is a bit of a break of resistance at least or some kind of green candle upside momentum of which currently um, can't see anything you know, like that on the chart. But important would be to maintain the um, orange scenario, which would allow for a C wave rally into the $200 region to maintain that perspective also as per the videos throughout the last couple of weeks. And so far, the roadmap is being followed. Yeah, but um, as long as the $147.80 level is holding, I can continue to focus on that structure for an expected C wave of wave three to the upside, which should reach $205 plus. Now, in yesterday's update on X, on the X platform, Twitter, um, make sure that you follow us there as well. You'll find the link in the description. I already highlighted um, all the relevant levels and we were just seeing a rally into resistance. But there was no sign that the correction was over. Okay, so all we saw is was a bit of consolidation below resistance. And the idea was that um, <clears throat> a break above the Sunday high would be the first indication that the low has formed. So that hasn't happened. But with that new low, um, we can we can we have a, a clo let's say um, a, a signal level that's closer to the current price. So I said if another low forms, which is currently expected. The next levels to watch are 150 and 147. And yeah, again, I'm definitely open to the idea that the low is formed, but it takes a break above the Sunday high to confirm. So the market always needs to confirm it. If, for example, the expectation is for the market to do something, then I also need a level that will tell me that we might um, turn around early. But yeah, that one more low has happened. And I'm not sure if we get to 150. It, it would, of course, be ideal. But honestly, we are in a, you know dealing with a very, very volatile asset. And we are where it needs to be. It formed in the fifth wave, a lower low compared to the third wave, which was the Friday low. We might now turn to the upside at some point. Now, I take the previous resistance area off the chart. It did a good job in containing the price. And the price respected it. Now we've got this one. Now, this is now a resistance area that needs to be broken to the upside in order to give us an early indication that a low is in place. Now... And now of the, it's, it's similar, it's different to yesterday, it's different. So I, it's not like I expect another low. Um, now it's like I'm very open to the idea we, we can turn around, yeah, very open. And actually I'm expecting a reversal here if this is the correct wave count. Because below $147, the orange count will become very questionable. So we are now at the extremes yeah, of what the B wave really should do. Um, the, if the market is, you know, in, in at, it, at its extremes, that's usually the best point to possibly look for an entry point. Now, I'm not telling you to trade Solana here because, I mean, this is all a B wave rally. B waves, yeah, that B wave might have started here. 
um, most recently in April, actually 13th of April, so already a few <laughs> few months back. Um, B waves are really for seasoned traders, I would say, you know, not for novice traders. B waves are tricky, but still we have some levels to watch. I mean, if you want to trade it, you have a very clear invalidation point, which is down here. That's around $138, a little bit lower than that, $137.70. It's the swing low from the 13th of May. That's the invalidation point, but already a break below $147.80 will, yeah, let's say make the yellow count more likely. And in the yellow count, a B wave top has already formed. That's my update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.